Hello Capricorn. Oh, and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess. The Knight of Swords has just come out for you. This is your fortnightly reading for um, the second half of May. It's a general reading. So from May 16th through to the end of May, it's general. So it may or may not resonate. Uh, if you want to skip the shuffling or this intro, there will be a timestamp at the bottom. So Capricorn in the description box. What do we have for you, Capricorn, this fortnight upcoming? So in interesting energy energies around. A few planets are going retrograde and things coming back. There's all sorts of things happening. So what can we get for Capricorn? Ah, there you are, the devil. But, hmm, you're being crossed. You're crossing some. You're crossing the Knight of Swords. So, finding it hard to connect into your energy. Let's see what else can we get. Let's pull some cards for Capricorn. We have Eight of Wands, the Three of Swords. Interesting. So Taurus just had the same card in the same position with that three of swords so if you have any uh you know significant taurus in your chart or significant friends family loved ones with taurus i think there's um a similar style energy coming through almost but you might be might be related to a similar issue coming through we'll just see but this is obviously going to have a different it's slightly different obviously it's very different so far but different slant to it. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. Something's really blocking you from feeling quite connected to yourself. There's a disconnect here. Uh, the Knight of Cups in the near future. So that's good. It's shifting, which is good, Capricorn. You might be feeling a bit off with this energy for a little bit um, until it shifts. So we'll just see where we're going with this. Ace of Pentacles, nice. Okay, what else? Three more cards for Capricorn. There's one. We have the world and we have the chariot. And the six of pentacles. Yeah, interesting. Okay, very, the earth signs are all getting very similar energy, a lot to do with, hmm, Balancing out some finances and six of swords, two sixes. So finding some, moving to a calmer place of peace because I can feel there's conflict here. There's something bothering you. Um, so let's start. We have this knight of swords energy and the devil. Okay, crossed by the devil. So the Knight of Swords is very determined energy. It's very fast moving energy, but the Devil's very slow and feeling very stuck. And so it's like you're wanting to move very quickly out of a situation. You're very determined, but you're very much not feeling very like you can't break through that barrier of something is holding you back. This could be the Devil energy could be... Uh, it could be debt, it could be some kind of health issue, it could be a toxic relationship, it could just be uh, feeling bound to a situation. So it could be, um, but it can also just be you not want, not able, because the, the devil card is the Capricorn card, well, one of them in as the major arcana card, but is one of the, the Capricorn cards in the deck. So it's not all negative, the devil card. You know, de it's also around fertility and there's some some nice energy as well with the devil. So, but really it represents your energy Capricorn and there's an, your energy is kind of blocking you from moving forward here. So let's find out why. And um, on the surface, it, again, we have the eight of wands, which is swift change. You, There's been news coming through or there's been some kind of energy of very fast movement again swift change or communication coming very direct communication which has made you want to change and move quickly and again so there's all this very fast moving energy here but it's being blocked so it's i could imagine that would be very frustrating 
uh, coming through. And at the base of it, we have the three of swords energy. So that devil is connected to this, what's blocking you as well um, from moving forward is this three of swords energy, which is a deep heartache or pain that has, that is kind of, can act as a sabotage, a sabotage, a self-saboteur. It's blocking you. So if it's coming up, it's coming up to be healed because the Three of Swords gets exposed to the elements so that it can be healed. So, but that is, it has actually been, because we look at the recent past, it has been a burden. It's something that has been, you've been carrying around for a while and maybe you're not even aware of it because, you know, this Ten of Wands character can't see where they're going. But the good news is that when the Ten of Wands comes in, it's time to let go of that now. It's a very clear message. It's time to let go. So you can see clearly where it is you're going because you can't see, you can't see where he's going and you can't, it's like you, you want to go, but you're not going. So yeah, it's very frustrating. It's time to uh, let go of this very deep hurt. And I feel like it's something from the past that you have carried around for a long time. Luckily, it shifts. <laughs> we have in the near future this Knight of Cups energy. Uh, so this is this is the moving forward with your cup full, moving forward with your hopes and dreams alive, moving forward with love. This is, could be somebody coming towards you with love. But there's a beautiful healing energy that you're moving forward now with your heart and cup full, you're open to receive love. You're open to be on this journey of healing journey of love because you've healed that block that, that has, this pain has come up to be healed. And so because that's been healed, you're now able to move forward with your cup full in a, at a much, there isn't this need to move so fast because you'll find this inner peace with this Knight of Cups energy. It's a lot more dreamier. It's very much the romantic dreamer. So it moves into a whole different, rather than a fight or flight and quite a stressed and must get out of here or get out of this energy situation, pushing, pushing, pushing. It's very much just sitting with your emotions and feeling really good with the way that you're moving forward. You're in a much happier place emotionally moving forward. So there isn't that emotional stress around a situation that I was getting that I get with this. There's a lot of yeah emotional stress and chaos and yeah, I'm feeling my adrenal glands and almost panicky feeling, but that's okay. Um, so, cause that's all shifting. We have, so this is you in the situation, Capricorn, beautiful earth energy. We have the ace of pentacles. You're seeing this as a new opportunity, a new beginning, a new pathway opens up. You're perhaps looking at a new way of doing things or a new, you know, it could be a new career front. It could be a new, it's just a new opportunity that you're wanting to step into and move forward into. So you're very much, you know, I'm going to take this opportunity and run with it. I'm not letting this opportunity go. I need this new energy coming in. I need this new start. I need this new beginning. I need this new pathway to come in. So that's why there's all this like determined energy here to like, we must do this, but it's just releasing it. So you're in the right space for it. The energy surrounding you is the world energy. So there's definitely a completion of that cycle. Oh, door just blew open. Um, there's definitely been a completion of the cycle that has been this burden that you've been carrying for a long time and this and created a bit of heartache. It could be, you know, burning out. It could be someone's hurt you. It could just be you've taken on too much. Uh, it could be that, you know, you've yeah, there's it's variety of things, but it's ending, which is great. It's finally ended. And so there's a breakthrough. There's a sense of being free here, free from this. So, yeah, it's wonderful energies coming through. So hopes and fears, Capricorn. Sorry, I'll have to shut my door in it properly in a second. It's going to just keep opening and shutting. There's a big breeze in the background. So hopes and fears, we have the chariot. You just wish, you want to have the strength to pull this together and to actually get through this. This is conflicts ending in victory and this is very much an internal conflict that's happening with you that's, 
You're just like, I just want to get through this. I want to get over the other side of it. And you will. You definitely will. And so for the near future, we have the Six of Pentacles, which is balancing everything, restoring balance again. This could, especially on a financial level, so that could be quite a lot of stress around money, but also around giving and receiving. You know, we're saying that you were taken on too much. You probably were giving out too much. And now with this Six of Pentacles coming in, you're more open to receive again and that's what we were saying with that Knight of Cups energy. You're open to receive love now whereas it was all kind of shut off here because of this past hurt. And so now that you're in this state of opening to receive, that's when love and money just does come to you. So this can come in small amounts of money that could be coming to you as like a gift, uh, gifted to you or winning a small amount of money. But I also feel like it could be that there you're now in this, yeah, space to there's more love coming to you you're getting more you're getting more of what you need the good stuff because here we have as the overarching energy the six of swords which is moving to a calmer place you know that mind that ferment frenetic pace of that mind of must fix and solve this solution must move forward it's now calmed and again it's that sense of everything calms down in the near future with that knight of cups energy just settling into your letting your emotions settle because they were kind of really affecting your mind and now you're in this place where you can just let go of those cut those choppy waters and moving into this calmer space finding that inner peace again and also you know bringing those that you love and so therefore you're able to be open to what the universe has and brings for you so it's a much better more open receptive space that you'll find yourself in capricorn so I hope that makes sense for some of you and resonates. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.